Yesterday, we told you that the Democrats took God out of the platform, and they also removed Jerusalem as being the capital of Israel out of the platform. And I said, warning, this this shows how radical these guys are. Well, yesterday, late yesterday afternoon, they decide to change the platform. And this is some of the most amazing audio ever. They have to take a verbal vote on it. There has to be three uh, three quarters vote for uh, I to reinsert God. Two thirds. Uh, sorry, two thirds. Uh, reinsert God and uh, Jerusalem into the platform. And so they take a simple voice vote. Listen to this. The matter requires a two thirds vote in the affirmative. All those delegates in favor say aye. Aye. All those delegates opposed say no. In the opinion of the... Let me do that again. All of those delegates in favor say aye. Aye. All those delegates opposed say no. Oh man, exactly. that is not two thirds. Fifty fifty. At, I at think best. it's a little more. I think it's a little heavier on the nose. It might be. Yeah. Now here's the third time. Because the guy, the guy doesn't know what to do now. Because he well, knows that he was knew, not two thirds. He was ready to declare it right at the beginning. He was, but he could. He knew he couldn't. Right. Well, he stopped and looked off to the side. I think he was being told. And so the the numbers marm comes out uh, behind him, and mm-hmm. she's like, look, you've got to take it again. Yeah. I, um, I guess. Listen to her. You've got to rule, and then you've got to let them do what they're going to do. Stop, stop. See, so now the numbers, Marm, here's the, here's the honest Democrat on the stage. She comes out and she says, you got to do it again, and then you have to let them do what they're going to do. So, in other words, let the chips fall where they may. She knows he wants to say, no, this is passed. And she's saying the rules are you say it, they vote, and whatever they vote, you let them do what they're going to do. Here's the honest Democrat. She's disregarded. Listen to this. I'll do that one more time. All those delegates in favor say aye. All those delegates opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds have voted in the affirmative. The motion is adopted, and the platform has been amended as shown on the screen. Disgraceful. It is. Thank you very much. Now, this is disgraceful for a couple of things. First of all, the Democrats are not booing God. They are not booing God here. They are booing the system that is obviously corrupt. This is the Barack Obama system. It really is. We're going to put it out to a vote and let the people say what they want to say, and we're going to go around and we're going to listen to your opinion. Then they'll pole vault. They'll go under the fence. They'll jump over the fence, climb through the window. They'll do whatever they have to do. They're going to do what they want to do. And the Republicans, the GOP, did exactly the same thing, except if you remember with the GOP, it was the exact opposite of what just happened there. The GOP jammed it down their throat. And the Ron Paul people said, what the hell are you doing? Remember this? Right towards the beginning, they wouldn't seat the, they wouldn't seat the Ron Paul delegation from Maine or something like that. They wanted to change some of the ruling. And so they jammed it down everybody's throat. And the Ron Paul people on day number one really got pissed. The Romney people stepped in and said, uh-uh, reverse it. So, the, so when the Ron Paul people got pissed, it, it, within a day, they had changed it. This time, what happened? This is a very good sign. This is one of the greatest signs ever. I love this. This is going to make you feel really good. They are terrified of you. They are absolutely terrified. Do you remember how many times did we say, uh, hey, don't, don't, don't feel like you're alone. You're not alone. We surround them. And we had to convince each other the truth that we, there are more of us than them. They never have believed that. They just keep going and doing exactly what, and they just jam it down everybody's throat. 
They're no longer jamming it down your throat. They're jamming it down their own people's throat now. The good Democrats, they're just jamming it down their throats. And they are afraid. Now, they're not jamming down. The radicals had the convention and the platform. The radicals are the ones that changed this, took out God, and took out Jerusalem. But they know after the response of the American people, they saw what the American people see. They know somebody is smart enough in the Democratic uh, Committee that says, guys, we're going to get our asses kicked. What are you doing? So they had to reverse themselves. Just get on the platform and just reverse themselves. Just reverse it. Just put it back in. They expected their people to just go along. They didn't. Half of them, the good, common-sense Democrats, half of them said, yes, put that back in. The other half, the militant half, said absolutely not. So now the Obama administration has done some amazing things. One, once again, they've exposed themselves on who they really are and who they really side with. Then they showed a moment of panic. Oh, no, 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 we we got to, because they know they're in trouble. And the third thing they've done, they've just disenfranchised their real ardent supporters. The real strong, the ones who are like, yeah, those are the militant guys. And they've just slapped them in the face again. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Barack Obama is going to lose. I think Barack Obama is going to lose in a landslide. We 